Oh god. You've just won the heart of the princess. What are you gonna do I next? I knew this was about to happen. Ask Josh, see what he says. Josh, you've just <laughs> won the heart of the princess. What are you gonna do next? Don't need to do anything. The princess is right behind the camera. Oh, that was... Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back to Inside the Fight. Today's fight will be between a man who is torn between his sense of duty and his sense of what is right and a woman who is fighting for her freedom. And we will be using rapier versus rapier and dagger. Stick around to the end of the video to see the fight scene we make. Wonderful. Guess what? My wonderful, wonderful better half over there decided that her cup of coffee was not enough and drank all of mine as well. <laughs> Uh huh. They do look really similar. Yes, strikingly so. Hey! Strikingly so. <laughs> says I'm not insane, I'm an actress, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that it takes a level of insanity <laughs> to drink another person's coffee. <laughs> Adam was complaining that his shoulder really hurts. So I said, if we pull his foot off, he'll forget about his shoulder. It's distraction therapy absolutely works. Annoyingly, she does have a point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a healer. So, today's fight will be between Josh and our wonderful guest star, Charlie Yates. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, you ready to do this? Yes. Nice. Woo! Oh my god, you guys look so cool. Oh my god. Oh my That's god, so cool. I don't drink other people's coffee. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like Adam in his lunch again. Oh god. And I'm the dog. <laughs> I had a I had a full pizza for lunch. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, the zip on my bag was broken, some dogs got inside. And oh mate, you should see the episode, it's tragic. The teacher's the choreo. Okay, so this this is Teach us! Oh mighty teacher! <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, Charlotte is on the run from the law. Great That's running, Charlotte. Great. She desperately wants to escape. He doesn't want to kill her because he gets more of a reward if she doesn't die. Might be a surprise, those people. <laughs> Thought, by the way, is this leany, leany, leany thing. I like to think of it as just putting yourself in italics. <laughs> Basically, we have to. Do it. I kind of want to be parallel to it so that it's going to miss me. The same thing that way. Charlotte, for camera you have to take all of those slashes really close. The stage, when it comes to doing a slash, we imagine that they're inside a glass pyramid. And then your aim is to go down the side of the glass pyramid. So it looks like it gets close, um, but in reality, if they didn't move, dead. it's still completely safe. Like, even if they stay dead still. And on stage, this will read no problem. If Charlotte thwarts that way, it will read as completely dangerous and everything else. But on a camera, that will not work. What you actually do is you push the pommel, towards the target you're going for. So my pommel in this case is literally going to go like that. So oh, if I were to swing, I'm going to hit. <gasps> the safety is that I don't do the last bit of it, which is releasing that blade until Charlotte's moved. And that should mean that you can get really close. Cut nice and close. Do you want to do it at full speed? Oh, damn! I thought he was going to lose an ear. This could be me from a couple episodes ago. Do you want to try both? Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Where are we going, Mel? Don't <laughs> <laughs> I need to run into a tree. <laughs> so we're gonna do phrase two now. You can't remember. On guard. Okay, yeah. So. Yeah, on <laughs> Shot's gonna do a dagger parry of two to clear Josh's sword out of the way, whilst thrusting to his non-sword side thigh. Josh's gonna seven it. Thrust to her sword side thigh. Dagger. Charlotte is gonna do a rising dagger slash just to cut his arm off. He's gonna catch it with his sword. Charlotte's gonna grand envelop his sword out of the way, go to chop his head off again. Josh is gonna duck, and he's gonna try and chop her legs off, and she's gonna get the heck out of the way again. Heck no! What if I can bless her from that low? Go for it. How good are my thighs <laughs> feeling today? <laughs> yeah, boys! <laughs> Look at how much distance I got. That's insane. That's mad. Yeah. Get him out of the way. Step forward onto the left. And, and then pick this, up, pick up, that, pick up. and that. Pick up. Is all on the right foot. So two parries and a glizzard all on one step. Look at that lunge. Oh. Bloody hell. I know. Guys, guys. How, how that, strong that's 20, is this lunge? lunge. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I used to be a little Highland dancer. <laughs> we used to dance with swords. That's how our Scottish people do it. <laughs> Charlotte's gonna do a cut to Josh's head and he's gonna parry five. Cut. 
who's then going to try and thrust her dagger into his belly, but he will bind her sword into that, into a seven to parry the dagger as well. Then he's going to shove her away. Yeah. Clearance. Shove. Shove. Shark's going to spin over her right shoulder with a cut ah, to Josh's sword side chest. And she's going to prep a cut to his non-sword side chest. Whoa. But Josh is too quick for that. He's going to thrust what into her thigh. Flip. Dagger parry. Wrap and trap disarm. What's going to happen now? Uh -oh. Find out after these messages. Well, for the disarm, Shark's going to do a dagger parry of two. And then with her rapier, hook it underneath Josh's sword. And she's essentially levering the sword out of his hand. Fishing with my left, pulling with my right. Oh, like exactly. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Removing the sword from Josh's grip, leaving him swordless. And then I'll put the cover up so that you can't find it, then we'll get back to the fight. <laughs> Disguise it. <laughs> Where did it go? Charlotte is going to thrust to Josh's stomach. He's going to sidestep, grab her wrist. And then I pull this over like that. Twisting her wrist into a horribly uncomfortable my position. Wrist and taking her sword from her. She's going to parry two, <laughs> his sword away, and thrust to his stomach, which Josh will parry one, grab her wrist again, spinning her around with his sword to her throat. And they'll have a bit of a chat there. <laughs> yeah, not bad, What did you have for breakfast? <laughs> Charlotte is going to pour her heart out to Josh, describe exactly why she needs her freedom and deserves to be let go and she changes his mind. Am I right in thinking that I give it back oh a sword party? Oh my god, he's a sword. No, 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 no. <laughs> you ran off the last time. Take his, take his, this is fancy. It's probably worth it. And then the fight will happen exactly the same again, but with another man. And then all of a sudden, it's me. What? So we've just uh, rehearsed all three phrases. I'm a giraffe! <laughs> So now we are going to go on a quick location scouting mission to find where this scene is going to begin, where these two are going to bump into each other, which tree we're going to nail a piece of paper to. Let's go! This is going to be a nice path to run down, but Esme is going to have to run it with a camera. I've got this. She's got the Ronin. She's got the Ronin. Oh, hello, sir. Right up there. Now Josh is going to do the whole thing from up this tree. So this is where you want the run to start from? Yeah, so if we have got yeah. a shot of Josh, oh, what's this? I can get some money from this. That's, that's, that's a very natural dialogue. <laughs> Start me running here and they bump into each other like, hey, whoa. Isn't <laughs> 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 the Russo running? Oh my god, running for your I'm life. looking the wrong direction. Whoa! whoa. Oh, oh, that's a tree, <laughs> guys. Let's get There's an actual tree that Esme is now caught up in. Stop <laughs> Like, in the middle isn't particularly hidden, but neither is just this. Only this place where we can actually be a bit more hidden. Oh, bloody hell, it's miles away. Stealth Charlotte! Oh, <laughs> Charlotte! Yay! So Slovage! This, this is how we're hiding. You've got to think of a new competition. For I've got one. I've got a new competition, actually. We named a mop that I used to choreograph for the quarterstaff fight, but for this it's rapier and dagger. So I used Meryl Sweep, obviously, but I didn't have anything dagger-sized, and then thought struck me, a wooden spoon. I needed to name a wooden spoon for me. And uh, I promise I'll come up with more interesting things next week. <laughs> yeah, don't so just, promise things you can't. That's true, yeah. <laughs> it will not be more interesting. Your It'll be more of the same. Your mouth is checks your body count cash. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment down below and you'll get a shout out in the next video. If it's any good. <clears throat> so I think the start of the thing should be like Charlotte running past of like flash, flash. And then we can do the run and chase. It might be quite interesting if I film from behind and they like keep looking back a lot. Yeah, that's a good point. And that means that means you can run forwards as well. It means I can run full pace and keep yeah. up with them. The joys of being a stunt camera person. <laughs> means you have to do the stunts while holding the yeah. camera. Like female stunt doubles are like really impressive because yeah. they do the exact same stunts that men do, but in heels. heels. <laughs> and like wearing nothing yeah. usually. Mm -hmm. Like what you don't know is the guys usually because they have suits on will have padding underneath. Yeah, you can't put padding. You can't put padding in a dress. <laughs> so if you see some female stunt people, High five them because they're badass. Always. So this Aww. is the wanted poster, Maylis Fairway reward of one. Is it a thousand? Oh, it's a hundred. One hundred. I thought that, I thought that was an extra. Only got two zeros. Well, the I round the, things. I them. thought the G was an extra zero. <laughs> <laughs> what? My, my lady, my lady. Help me, friend, please. Men are chasing me. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> Ha! <laughs>
Now, you know how your expert phone is rangular, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so I need you to not be in shock when there. There's no way you can't not be in. Oh my God. Wait, what? go down again? You managed it. So I need to go across and then down. And I've managed, Mel's managed to get herself in a position where I can box around her and miss her. But she's literally like right so itch, into the shot. But never once getting in the shot. It's because just incredible. That's a true Immense skill. And in the wilderness, a sound operator. In the distance, an actor approaches. The sound operator wishes to catch the sound. We now hear the famous hunting call of the sound operator. Woo! Woo! I was expecting you would say speeding. <laughs> <laughs> that would make more sense. <laughs> We're still rolling. We're still good. If I let you leave, I will be guilty of treason myself. <laughs> You what? <laughs> I'm not joking. I'm happy. I'm, happy. I'm really happy. In which case? It's a wrap! Yes! Oh! I need to guess. All takes to get this probably the most simple <laughs> the shot, shot in the entire <laughs> thing. Charlotte, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you guys. Yeah. 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 Did you Amazing. enjoy your, your inside I the flight experience? I had such a great time. Bigotry corset unpopping shot, which seems to be a theme. Thank you guys so much for watching how we made this fight. We're about to show you the actual finished product in just a second. If you like the video, please give us a like, a subscribe, share it around. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next week. And don't forget to name my wooden spoon. Cheers. Thank you, sir. I'm in your debt. My lady. My lady. My lady. Is this you? The lady may lease. Wanted for high treason. Half of King Marlow. Please do not run. You are worth far more to me alive. I have no desire to cross blades with a lady. Then don't. Just let me pass. I cannot do that. Just surrender yourself. And come quietly. <laughs> I do not wish to harm you. And yet you need to drag me to the king who will have my head. That is the king's punishment for your crime. What do you know of my crimes? Only what I read on that parchment. Wanted dead or alive for high treason. I
I committed no treason. My only crime was rejecting the king's advances. I am the daughter of a nobleman in the king's court. I deserve better than to be that old man's mistress. I cannot speak for that. All I know is if I let you leave, I will be guilty of treason myself. <laughs> 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 On behalf of King Marlow. Do not pay loyalty to the crown. You are only after the bounty he has put on my head. Man has to make a living, young lady. And a woman should have the choice to do the same. One that does not mean being the king's whore whilst the court sniggers behind her back. There are worse fates, my dear. Not for me. I would rather die fighting you in this forest than live on my back for him. Then go. Go. everyone thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed please consider hitting subscribe it would really help us out thank you again and see you next week